Welcome to Techverse. Following the announcement that Tesla is updating the battery chemistry that it employs in all of its standard range electric vehicles, Tesla revealed back two months in its third quarter investor deck that it's using lithium ion phosphate LFP cathode in all of its standard range electric vehicles. Let's talk about Tesla's new batteries today and also the new Tesla 4680 batteries. It is predicted that Tesla would implement this change in the coming months in order to increase profit margins on its all-electric vehicles without boosting vehicle pricing. For making arbitrary pricing changes to its automobiles, Tesla has received negative press in the past. The company's factory in Shanghai is currently engaged in the production of automobiles that incorporate LFT chemistry. Aside from China, it sells its autos throughout the Asia-Pacific region and Europe, among other locations. A materials specialist and consultant named Roskill claims that China normally favors the use of this particular battery in its infrastructure, which he describes as follows. It is estimated that China manufactures approximately 95% of the world's LFP cathodes, according to the business. Earlier this year, Tesla conducted a survey of Model 3 reservation holders in the United States to determine whether they will be willing to accept a car with a battery produced using LFP cells rather than the nickel cobalt aluminium oxide NCA cells that the company had previously used in the Model 3 sedans sold throughout North America. When it comes to LFP, there are both positive and negative trade-offs, said Sam Abuel Samid, chief analyst at Guidehouse Insights. There are both positive and negative trade-offs. This process is far less expensive than the previous one and does not necessitate the use of nickel or cobalt. As an added bonus, it is more stable, which makes it safer to use. One notable disadvantage is that the cells have a lower energy density than other cells, resulting in a smaller range for the same weight as other cells as a result of this. Cold weather, according to Abu al Tamid, has a stronger influence on people than hot weather. According to Abuel Samid, Tesla's modification is probably a sensible option because they are not likely to lower the prices, therefore it will likely increase their bottom line. According to Abuel Samid, other manufacturers like as Ford Motor and Volkswagen have expressed interest in the battery chemistry for use in lower-priced vehicles in the future, if the technology proves successful. He went on to say that this is a particularly appealing area for commercial vehicles such as delivery vans which do not need to travel more than a few hundred miles on a single charge. The CEO of Snowball Capital, Taylor Ogan, who has been a long-term admirer of Tesla, told CNBC that LFP batteries are both less expensive and safer than standard batteries. This chemistry allows you to charge your vehicle's battery all the way up to 100% without having to worry about the battery degrading over time as with other types of batteries. These batteries also have the added advantage of being quite simple to recycle, which is another advantage. Furthermore, procuring raw materials for these is less difficult to do in an ethical manner than in the past. Due to the high demand for ion-based batteries in China, these batteries now deliver all of the power required by automobiles with a standard range of performance. It's worth noting that CATL and BYD are the world's largest makers of these types of battery cells. According to previously available information from the companies, Tesla has begun purchasing batteries from CATL. Aside from a remark in the investor deck stating that the business is shifting to lithium-ion phosphate LFP battery chemistry worldwide, Tesla did not provide any other information about the decision. Tesla did not react to a request for comment within 24 hours of receiving it. Let's talk about the new Tesla 46 A3 batteries for a minute. They are really powerful. In partnership with Tesla's Gigafactory partner Panasonic, it has been designed to be significantly beefier and longer-lasting than the more commonly used AA-style lithium-ion battery cell that the business has been using successfully up to this point. When it comes to electric vehicle developments, however, they are much more than just bigger. In terms of energy storage capacity, these new Tesla batteries offer a quantum leap ahead, giving about five times the capacity at a cost that is less than half that of Tesla's already industry-leading battery technology. In addition to containing five times the energy of smaller counterparts, they are significantly larger as well. They are not five times more energy dense as a result of their larger size. Moreover, Tesla believes that the 4680 cell will contribute to a hundredfold increase in battery manufacturing by the year 2030, owing in part to the cylinder shape construction of the new type of battery. To be honest, this is something to be excited about. In addition, it's worth noting that the Tesla is one of the few automotive manufacturers to make use of the cylindrical battery type, which is exclusive to the firm. 
GM and other companies are storing their products in rectangular packs or blades which are rectangular in shape. There are two advantages to taking this step. It suggests, first and foremost, that Tesla will receive particularly all of the benefits of the new 4680 cells, at least initially. Secondly, it demonstrates that the existing Gigafactory infrastructure will be more easily converted to the new battery type than the manufacturers of blade-type batteries will be able to do so. They are extremely significant benefits to have in a world where inventory shortages and great client demand are driving prices through the ceiling. Solid state versus Tesla batteries, which is better? Will solid state batteries ever make it to the market in the end, especially in light of the increased rivalry and commercial realities that Tesla and Panasonic are experiencing right now is an open question. Although the question was never presented to me, I feel the answer is not even in the smallest degree. It is unlikely that solid state batteries will be introduced anytime soon and the new Tesla 4680 batteries will be more than sufficient to keep the company's trillion dollar valuation rising to previously unconceivable heights. So to summarize this entire video, the introduction of the new 4680 Tesla batteries is fantastic news, but solid state batteries have been lauded as the killer app for unlocking the potential of electric vehicles for years and may now finally be available. Recently, solid state technology has received a great deal of interest. It is lighter, more energy efficient and has faster charging times than lithium ion batteries. Solid state technology is also getting some attention here on Clean Technica. If you have any doubts about whether or not it's a promising technology that so many people claim it to be, you should consult with a qualified professional. Jean Berdachevsky, the man in charge of the Tesla Roadster battery pack, does not believe this to be the case, and you may want to heed his words of caution. In a recent white paper published by his business, Sila Nanotechnologies, Berdachevsky describes solid-state batteries as a false promise. While there are technical reasons why this technology appears to be the holy grail of batteries, as he puts it, the reality is that even if the technology works, and that is a big if, after 40 years of development, the technology is unlikely to find more than niche opportunities in the marketplace, he concludes. What are your thoughts on the matter? Please leave your opinions and comments down in the comment section of this video. That was all from today's video, thanks for watching it and make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already to get more interesting content. See you soon with a new video.